Love of my life, deep in my eyes, there you will find what you need. I just thought it's feelings, or it's it's this, or it's that, or like, um, it, it was limited what I thought. And as I've grown, as I've matured, like St. Paul said, as I became a man, I put away childish things, and I really looked at what love really is. And when it comes down to it, it's not something that's selfish. It's something that gives, loves, and has a great plan. Um, no matter what cross they bear, no matter what they go through, no matter um, how their feelings. Because love isn't limited to a feeling. If love was limited to a feeling, this would have never happened. If love was never, it was limited to a feeling, um, this world would be even more messed up than it is. About 30, 40 years, 30, 40 years ago, what happened is um, that that the day of, the idea of marriage is kind of like, just like smashed. Like, like in reality, when it comes down to it, like this is what's left of traditional marriage. So awesome. Like I'm so happy that I have somebody that I have to be an example for. That I have to say that I love you and I want you to know who Jesus Christ is and I want you to experience love and I want to see that so your parents love you too. I'm going to do everything to help make that happen. Silence is golden, but there's a time to speak. And there are those shouting out views, but their arguments are weak. Let me get this out there and make it simple and plain. I never knew anyone who found freedom from a hate speech in Jesus' name. Reckless pastors who judge, condemn, and leave a soul to feel alone, called to shepherd God's people, not cast the first stone. And other leaders do no favors by cowardly choosing silence. They fail to speak the truth and offer no guidance. A culture full of tension over the issue, so where does this leave us? Somewhere between awkward silence and gay bashing in the name of Jesus. And in the middle stands truth, a truth that could set us free, a God that calls us out of darkness to embrace our true identity. And a culture that glorifies sex and puts pleasure before all else. Is God the source of your identity or is it your sexual self? And how do we identify and not accept a lie because sexual desire is just one piece of the pie. Identity is a choice. A lifestyle is something you embrace. Same-sex attraction doesn't define you and can be set in place. A movement with semantics aimed to change and sway. There needs to be clarification when using the word gay. Does it mean one has attractions or that they choose to act them out? Truth says there is a difference in the two that must be brought about. God loves you the way you are and the truth can set you free. There is a difference between unchosen sexual attraction and chosen identity. In marriage, two become one flesh, over to life for propagation. Two of the same in union can't reach this fulfillment of God's creation. Nature or nurture, you didn't choose this struggle. The church understands and will walk with you in times of trouble. The same church that says no when we fail to keep our sexual selves in check is the same church that says no when others try to take your respect. You never are alone, and the church offers you a home as it stands for what is true. Although the church says no to gay marriage, it still says yes to you.